Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and use GPay auto donation system for Rust. So simply just download the plugin, then go to your Rust server. I'm using Streamline, so I might look different to yours, but the main folders and everything should be the same. So we're just going to go to Oxide plugins folder and just place the plugin in here. Then just boot up your server and then you can uh, tur turn the server off again and because you booted it up it will create additional two files which one of them will go into a language fi uh, folder and one of them will go in a configs folder. But once you do this bit you can go back to the Oxide, Oxide uh, page and click on a game pay URL and that will take you here. In this, we will need your secret key, which will be automatically generated for you. And you just simply copy this key, and we will go back to the config folder. And just open up your GPay file. And in here at the bottom here you will see where you can place this key so just simply paste that key in here and that bit here will be done so we'll just go back to the folder here just make sure you go through all these sec settings in transaction fees you can choose who pays the fee which is 10 percent i believe the buyer or the seller for me i just got it on the buyer but you can just do whatever you feel like PayPal settings, you just put in your PayPal email address. And in here guys, because this plugin has been updated and everything, some people use um, as a commands in a file as in um, Steam name or Steam username. But just make sure you on Steam or if you put this bit on enabled, that's to make sure it works properly. Once this bit is done, we can head on to your web store. In your web store settings here, you can just place your logo. And you, you will see what I mean once I open up the website. Your website information. Here, you will see your website URL and everything. Once you make it up, your my, uh, website name and everything, that's... You, you will create that as you make up your account and this URL will be your direct link to your shop so just copy that guys and we head back to the config files and the language folder mine's in English I'm using everything in English guys and you will find additional file in GPL file here and just paste your URL in here so that way when people type in donate in the game this message will pop up and direct them where to go to access your website you can customize these to how one, however you want it but I'll just leave it as it is I'll just go back to the config file so once that's done you can select your theme however you feel like it and now we will go back to the product page in here when you start just add some categories let's say I'll name this test and I'll add additional let's say items and now guys when you want to make what you're selling just type in the product name let's say we'll make a test one test product price will be a dollar and this will go in a test tab this is here wh whatever categories you've created as I created the test I'll add it here this will give you nothing just test and you can upload the URL for the image. As you can see here on one of these, I've got VAP. That's what's going to show. And I'll just add this product. 
Okay, so I do need to add an image. Once all these are pre-made, you will see your product ID. That ID, just copy that ID and then go back to your config file and just find your GPay. So in here, that ID that we just copied, that will go under the packages. And just paste that ID in here and then you make up your command. And I, I tend to see that people use a slash here. Just make sure guys you don't use slash as this should be your oxide commands, not the chat commands. And as I'm using add group steam ID, this is why it's really important. You got your steam ID authorized on enabled like just I showed you before. And then I got a group pre-made already. I'm sure if you're up to this bit, you know how to make groups and give them privileges. And for me, because I'm using timed permissions, I added seven days, which is 7D. If you, you didn't have time permissions, don't add this bit here. Just VIP. And I've seen some guys make mistakes with comas and that. Make sure you use comas, guys, everywhere. Once that's done, quantity one. We just save the file and all these bit guys should be done once you pre-make the files and that so we'll just get ahead in, into the game i would suggest probably rebooting the game a couple of times and if you type in donate here's the link that you just added to the language file like i, I mentioned to you guys and if i type in claim claim donation it actually says no donation found and because my kit the the actual group VAP I created a kit for that group and I only added to be able to get it for VAP members so now you can see I'm only got resources kit so if we go back to the website and my web store, we'll just delete these guys. And those categories that we made, you can see here the VAP one that I made originally, a test one that we did a test that will give you nothing. And if you press on the I, it says it will give you nothing. It's just a test. And another one which is nothing in there so if we go back to the VAP bit and we'll try to purchase this Now as you can see this has been purchased. Once you press return, it actually won't take it back to your store. But guys, trust me. So if we go back to the game now to test this donation, as you can see, I still haven't got any kits or anything that. We just type in claim donation. And as you can see, thanks for donating, your items have been added to your inventory. As I didn't put any items, I just put it there, grant VIP. And you can, and you can see now I'm the VIP member. And even if you check through your Archon console, you can actually see time to permission, Victor Alpha, blah, 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 added to your group VIP for seven days. And now if we go back to the kits, you can actually see the VIP kit has appeared and what that's your choice what you add to it. I added some supply drops and that just for the test and it's unlimited times, so it's just 30 seconds cooldown. So we can actually wait for that cooldown and see what happens. to 
30 seconds. And you can see I can redeem that kit again. And here we go, guys. Using these commands and everything, you can add specific stuff really. Just make sure you guys use oxide uh, commands instead of chat commands. And um, with those slashes, just like we spoke about before, just make sure you don't use a slash. Just go plain and simple into your files. Where is it? Config GPA. You can see command add groups team ID VIP seven days. If you don't have time permissions, just put whatever group you pre made and that will work. That's it guys for this video, if you need anything else, I could probably give you a hand or if you would like to see any more tutorials of different, I don't know, plugins or whatever and if I know how to, how to work it, I probably would make more tutorials. Anyway guys, hopefully it works, peace out.